Hi, Hi everyone. everyone. Welcome to Show the World Your Garden. Woo. In this series, Camera Guy and I are traveling to gardens around the world and bringing you along with us. Now we're out in California and headed up to Ventura County. A lot of you are going to be able to relate to the story Lori, the gardener we're visiting today, has to tell. Now Lori really wanted to grow vegetables but never envisioned herself as a gardener because she knew absolutely nothing about gardening. But she decided to take an online class, jumped in, and gardening has changed her life and really given her a purpose. Now I think there are some of you out there that are watching that are afraid to make the jump. Now you gotta stick around, meet Lori, hear her story, and see her garden. You're gonna love it. Hi Lori. Hi Kim. Great to see you. You too. Thanks, Thanks for coming. Oh, thank you so much. I can't wait to see your garden. Of course. I'm so excited about this. So tell me how you first got into gardening. It was during the pandemic in the fall of 2020 and I was bored and I decided to take a class. I saw on my computer there were classes at the Adult Valley Education so I'm like I'm gonna take a beginner's gardening course. So I did and it was a little over my head even for a beginner but I really loved it. It just kind of got my feet wet and I started noticing a lot of things that I never noticed before. Right after Christmas uh, I started growing basil from a little kit and put it in the kitchen window and it just started to grow and every day I would look at it and get so excited about when I was gonna bring it outside, harden it off, all that. <laughs> Three years ago, I would have never in a million years thought that I would be growing 16 different varieties of tomatoes. Wow. And I mean, it's crazy. So you started simple. Yes. You never envisioned that you could be a gardener like you are today. That's no. amazing. No, it was literally just to grow basil and maybe expand to a few more herbs. But once you start getting into it and watching the different videos on YouTube, you're like, why can't I do a pepper? Because they look so good and, it gets and all that. It? So, now, what do you enjoy the most about gardening? Uh, just the, the beauty of being outside and, you know, I tend to worry a lot and I can ruminate on stuff. And when I'm outside, I'm just completely focused on the vegetable plant or on getting these things in the ground or just... I completely lose all that other stuff that uh, tends to aggravate me inside. I love that. Yeah. yeah. And I can't wait to see your garden. Lori, show the world your garden. Absolutely. Right this way. <laughs> so this is my backyard side garden. Wow, this is beautiful, Lori. Thank you. So much you. color back here. There is, because I love color. Uh, so, um, now the reason it's on the side is because this is where I get all the sun, especially in the summer. This is all baking, so all my tomatoes and everything were here. I tried to squeeze them in as much as I could. Beautiful. But now for the cool season, I'm kind of chasing the sun a little bit, but uh, I'm growing all the things that I couldn't grow in the summer. This is great. So you've got a ton of containers and then a small raised bed. Yes. Is that how you grow? Do you uh, have it soil is. in your backyard? or I do, but it, it's... The trees are blocking it, and this is where I got the most sun. And everything I read or researched was tomatoes need eight to ten hours, and Perfect. Uh, so this is where the garden was going to be. You worked with what you had. I, I love did, that. and I just got one container at a time, and uh, got excited. Got another container, and it, it was just like wherever I could squeeze them and, and put them. What all are you growing right now? Okay, so over here I'm growing cabbage. Three, three different kinds of cabbage, or actually it's one kind, but it's in three different spots. Um, and then I've got a few companion plants and some broccoli. So uh, right now you've got mainly cool weather vegetables? Yes, right? In that's all what it is. Year round. Yes, and I should say like this year uh, with these, I did transplants because I got so busy at the end of summer and back to school that but I'm okay with that because I, I just didn't have time to grow from seed this year. Absolutely, so. we, we work with what we have, right? Yes. And the time yes. that we have, and that's perfectly okay. Yeah. I love all the cool other veggies and the flowers that you have out here. It looks so pretty. Thank and you. share with me in the summertime, you've got something pretty amazing going on here. Tomatoes along all along here, no growing up over the wall. No way. Yep, it was um, pretty crazy, especially as it gets narrow, but it was great. Wherever I found a spot, I would tuck another tomato plant. That's and awesome, like yeah. 16 or 20 varieties or yep. something like that. Yep. Wow. Now, what do you like to grow, harvest, and eat from your garden? So over the summer, it was the tomatoes and the peppers. Uh, when the cayenne started to uh, come in, I did a lot of eggplant. Um, love amazing. eggplant parmesan. The basil, we used it a lot, constantly made pesto over the summer. So you are really providing a lot of food for your family out here. Yes, That's it was, awesome. it was really nice. skill. 
It's These nice. days, especially to know how to do. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. It's like now I know how to do that. Before it was such a mystery. You know, I didn't have any connection between what I bought at the store and now because I'm growing it at home, it's like you just see its whole life cycle. I love it. Okay, Kim, so that was my side garden. Love it. And we're going to make our way over here to my potting sheds Ooh. where everything happens for me. Oh, <laughs> this is where it all begins. Adorable. I love these. So I really love this part of it. It's like having little bookcases in the garden. Um, so and cute. I'm constantly turning it over and putting different things. Right now it's kind of open and I actually love when it's open because it means I can get started with a new project. Oh, uh, so I store my, um, all my supplies down below and uh, I put my transplants here, I move them around, and I love that it's it's got a little holes in it so I can water them right here if I want. Perfect. And uh, It has you know. a lot of personality out here. It's Thank really, you. really a reflection of you. Thank you. And I can see how this is truly, you've created a space that you love and enjoy and gives you peace and happiness. It does. I, I really like coming out here. And I've, you know, that first summer I did mostly vegetables and now I'm adding more flowers and that's really gives it some color and picks me up. Makes me happy. Now I'm going to take you over to Joe's favorite area. Oh, this is my is husband's. This? this is Joe's pond. Wow. This is where he likes to come uh, after work, after a long day of work. Uh, he'll it. come here, grab a chair, and sit and watch the fish and uh, just take in, you know, the garden's beauty, the pond. And if I'm working out here, he gets to be with me and we get to talk about the day and be together and both enjoy it. My name is Joe. I'm Lori's husband and um, I've sort of been front row center to her whole evolution from a woman who couldn't keep a house plant alive uh, to a woman with a thriving garden that provides you know, food for the family and a great outlet for her. It started with a few plants. You know, I think the first year we were getting these like microscopic uh, strawberries and uh, you know, these tomatoes with huge cracks in them and you know, she was kind of trying to figure things out. So she started going online and learning. Obviously, um, she, uh, Callie Kim was one of the first ones that she was very excited about following and learning about soil amendments and diagnosing problems. But I think the second year things really took off for her. She kind of got a lot of experience, I think, from the first go around and so began growing things from seed and then uh, more and more varieties. Uh, I kept seeing pots showing up every day. So this has been something wonderful for her. And I also think just being outside, being in nature, we were eating uh, a watermelon that she grew in our backyard. I mean, whoever thought that that would happen? And then the tomatoes were, were her real passion. I found myself putting tomatoes with nearly every meal and really enjoying it. Uh, just being able to come out here, grab a jalapeno, uh, we would harvest eggplant and peppers and I'd whip up a little, uh, you know, sauteed vegetable dish. So that was, that was a lot of fun. When we cooked Thanksgiving the other day, I, I, we just had to go in the backyard and cut some fresh herbs. I mixed it in with the butter and I was told it was the best turkey by several people they'd ever had. And I didn't have to go anywhere but our backyard. You know, like most moms, it tends to be a certain amount of anxiety and worry about the kids and different things being just right. But I think the time she spends in the garden like regulates a lot of that, maybe some of that nervous energy that goes with being a mom. And it's been really, I think, healthy for her, you know, not just physically from being out here and doing the work, but mentally and emotionally. I, I do think it's been a, a big benefit for her. Well, I'm just proud of you. You know, I think, like I said, you know, we couldn't keep a house plant alive around here. And now we have like this massive garden with, you know, really delicious, fresh, you know, beautiful vegetables. I'm Teddy. Uh, I'm 19 years old and I'm Lori's son. Ever since she uh, got all this gardening out here a few years ago, she's completely changed. Like, I mean, going slowly from like, getting a few plants out here to now there's just like things every at every corner. I never thought that she would be the kind of person to be doing all this, but um, she just didn't think she could do it either. Now she's out here every time I look for her. Oh, she's in the garden outside doing her thing. And um, it's really cool to see, to see how uh, it's transformed out here over uh, the couple months. She brings in uh, things that she grows. It's, it's super cool. Like we get to eat all the things that she grows. It's definitely helped her a lot, I think, um, with just like anxiety, reducing her stress, 
Um, it's made her happier, I think. Lori, I love how much food you're growing in containers in your backyard. You're doing an amazing job. Thank you. Share with me your favorite part. I'm sure there's many, but can you pick one or two? Uh, I would say probably the way I feel when I walk out here and look at everything and um, just, it, it keeps me busy, it keeps me happy, and I love to see the progress of everything growing. I mean, waking up in the morning and seeing what happened overnight or, you know, just, just watering it and taking everything in. I would say just, yeah, the peace that it brings me for being out here. That's probably my favorite it part. It really is an amazing experience. Yeah, it's, now, it's been good. Now, are there any challenges that you have in gardening? Definitely. Um, that tomato hornworm was the first year. Oh. That was, even though you research it and look it online to see it up close was pretty uh, scary. Yeah, but uh, sure. now I'm good at that. You told us online how to find it. I would also say the trees overhead uh, prevents me from growing a lot of stuff over here in this part of the yard. There's always going to be a problem. So I realized that the more I watch the different um, things, you know, on your channel and others, and the more I've read, there's gonna be challenges every summer. Now Lori, share your dreams. For your garden, how would you like to expand? Well, I uh, I don't know if you noticed it when we first walked in before the gate, there was some in-ground roses. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the roses aren't really taking off and haven't done well. And I would love to use that spot uh, to grow some vegetables, just to see if I can get, get something growing in the ground. I love my containers, but I would love to see uh, to see that. That would be so fun. I would like to do that. Yes. Also, um, I don't know if you noticed on the walls, uh, we do have ivy in certain areas, but I could, I'd love to get some hooks or some grow bags oh. and grow vertically um, on this side and against, you can't really see it here, but on the other side by the kitchen wall, I definitely have space and I would nice. love to get either a window box where I could do things or just drill some, you know, some stuff yeah. in the in the wall you can and make plant there. Really good use of your space that way. Of course, yeah. I've seen that so much and it looks, you know, that's the way to go. So I would definitely like to do that. I mean, I have a million dreams, but you gotta start somewhere. So that's where I'd like to start. Love it. <laughs> Now, Lori, I just want to affirm you. You have done such an amazing job. Thank with the you. Space that that you means have. a lot. You're growing a ton. You didn't know anything about gardening. Mm -hmm. You had no idea you could be a gardener, but you did it. Thank you. You jumped in, and I think a lot of people are in that place too, and they can really relate to what you shared with us today. Lori, I brought something for you. When do you have a little bit of me here in your garden? Oh my gosh! So I brought Thank a couple you. things. This is a little shorty three-foot raised bed. It's a smart pots. I've seen I it on your show. Oh, good. Well, hopefully you can find a spot for it somewhere. Definitely. And I wanted you to have one of my specialty green seed collections. This has the most amazing greens you can add to your Cool Weather Greens collection here in your yard. Thank you. And then I brought you a signed copy of my new book on raised bed gardening. Perfect. So hopefully you enjoy that. Awesome. Thank you. I remember when you were putting this together. I saw it on the show. Oh, good. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You I love welcome. this. Lori, if there was one thing you could say to a new gardener, maybe someone who's on the fence and afraid to get started, what would it be? I would say definitely be patient with yourself. You wanna do so much so soon, especially when you're getting excited about a new garden uh, and watch things grow, but be patient. And, uh, and definitely that first season that you try uh, to grow something, maybe get something that's a little bit more established even than a transplant, something that you're gonna guarantee that you're gonna be successful at. Because if I didn't have a success that first summer, I think I probably would have stopped. I needed to see something actually come to harvest. And uh, that was a big thing for me. And once I did, then there was no stopping me. And the next summer I was growing by seed and watching it go all the way through. So Great that would advice. be my advice. Great advice. Thank you so much for sharing that. You ready to take us out? I am. Okay. Thanks for watching. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next video. video.